How's it going, folks? It's Don Warren McCarthy here with Keller Williams Realty, bringing you your August 2020 update uh, for real estate in uh, Junction Triangle. Uh, so let's start out with our six month um, picture of what's gone on the last six months of sales in Junction Triangle. Um, this chart here, so pretty much March 1st, August 31st, so say COVID and post COVID. So what has that looked like? Well, still, uh, very much indicative of a seller's market because we can see property selling for 7% above asking and property selling on, on average in 10 days, uh, which of course tells us that we are in still quite a hot market uh, despite the pandemic that we're in, in Junction Triangle. So good news for you homeowners. Uh, next, we'll look at what the prices, what's happened in the prices in 2020 in our neighborhoods. This does include Junction Triangle, Bloordale, Dorfburg Village, um, north of the subway line there. So you can see here, we had very strong price growth coming into this year. And then of course the pandemic did have an effect, no doubt about it. Uh, but then of course we bounced back and have had a very frothy, um, our, our spring has basically been shifted into the summer months. And now we're in the fall of course, and I don't see a change in that. So I expect this to continue, maybe flatten off a bit for August, but continue for the fall market. So definitely the strongest uh, house prices we've ever seen in this neighborhood, as you can see. Um, let's look at, as we always do, the cheapest and the most expensive home sales in Junction Triangle. Um, so actually the cheapest was one of uh, a client of mine had bought and um, Bit of a rough property. Um, there were it was kind of a, a rooming house and was run that way, an investment property. And um, my clients were, were willing to assume the tenants. And that's, I think, why we got this deal and we got it for a steal. Um, 875 there on Sterling Avenue. Um, so fantastic location, particularly what's going on in that neighborhood over the next 10 years. It's, it's just stunning what's going to happen there. And of course, close to the uh, upstate, um, the up. Express and the Go Station and the Subway. So fantastic spot there. Um, that's the best sale. I think that was a winner for sure in uh, August. Then the most expensive home sale. I'm going to break this down into residential and commercial. Uh, most expensive residential was 163 Perth Avenue. That went for 1.355. Again, if you're interested in the details, all this is in download below me in the description section in YouTube. And then commercial. It was commercial property in DuPont. It was in the market for a while. Uh, storefront with apartment above. Um, did uh, finally sell it for 1.776. So there you have it, folks. Um, do reach out to us. A very strong market if you are thinking of selling indeed. Uh, it's also not a bad market to discuss possibly investing in, in condo apartments right now. Uh, if you saw my kind of GTA update for um uh, above in the email, if you saw the GT update, I talk about condo apartments and how we are seeing a shift there. So there could be a fantastic opportunity for people to invest in a condo this year, maybe take out some equity from your home or your line of credit uh, and get into and leverage uh, your real estate portfolio and get something else. Uh, so do give us a call for any questions in that regard. Um, it's Donald Warren McCarthy here with Keller Williams Realty. Listen, thank you so much for your time, as always. Uh, stay safe and I hope your kids stay safe at school too. Okay, take care. Ciao, ciao.